there are four basic types. Uh, the visual symptom that I talked about first uh, is the most common. Um, and it usually consists of a little blind spot that appears just out of nowhere, uh, often just lateral to your fixation point in your vision. Over about 30 minutes to an hour, this thing expands uh, to obscure a half of your visual field or a quarter of your visual field. And very often along the expanding margin are these weird zigzagging lines or shimmering, sparkling abnormalities. In its wake, you just don't see anything. You don't see a black spot. You just don't really see anything. The second most common uh, type is a sensory aura. Now, it has that sort of positive symptom, negative symptom, just like the visual, where you see the funny thing, the funny zigzagging lines followed in its wake by the loss of vision. With the sensory aura, you get a tingling, a numbness, needles and pins feeling that spreads often down the arm, across the face, often inside the mouth, and left in the wake of the tingling is a feeling of numbness. The third most common type is actually a disturbance in language. And this gets a little difficult because sometimes it's difficult to people know, for people to know whether their language disturbance is just based on the headache they're having because oftentimes the language disturbance is later into the attack and sometimes occurs when the headache is there. Whereas often the vision, uh, visual problems occur uh, when there's no headache going on. The least common type um, of an aura is the motor aura. Uh, and it is the type of aura that we've already found genetic defects. In fact, there are three different types of uh, gene mutations associated with this rather uncommon type of aura, the motor aura. And in this, uh, people get uh, anywhere from clumsy on one side of their body all the way to being uh, really paralyzed. Uh, this can last for minutes uh, to days.